Welcome back to Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement, here with Dr. Jacob Cavallio. He is a professor at the Department of History at Carleton University in Ottawa. Uh, you, were, you were mentioning, sir, uh, you had another thought uh, before we went to the commercial. Yes. It just so happens that next month, on the 27th of December, is uh, the 10th anniversary of two things. On the one hand, the return for a very rare second tenure of uh, the late Prime Minister Abe Shinzo of Japan. And one day after he returned to uh, be to serve for another tenure, which lasted for almost nine years, he published deliberately and in English an essay which I consider to be the most important position paper that, you know, a prominent leader of an important country uh, shared with, with the world because he published mm -hmm. it again in English, not very long at the center of which is China. China, which in the previous five years when he was in the political wilderness, if you will, in other words, the Hu Jintao, had engaged in absolutely unacceptable military and strategic expansionism into the South China Sea, which Mr. Abe referred to as about to become Lake Beijing. And his suggestion to the democracies was to, first of all, to gather together to, to, to cooperate not in order to go to war with China, God forbid, but in order to make sure that they put up the kind of potential existing resistance that prevent China from its very strong and actually constantly worsening expansionist uh, trends. And that is something that I think we, the democracies, should always remember. He suggested the establishment of something called Asia's Democratic Security Diamond, Japan, the United States, Australia, and India, that I has come to be, I mean, it's come to be referred to as the quad. The quad, I think, yeah. Yes, that we, Canada, should try as much as possible and as early as possible to, to join in one way or another. Well, why aren't we a member of the quad? Why were we not invited to be part of that? We are a little bit hesitant when it comes to that, and I think for the wrong reasons, in the sense that, for example, on if we consider, again, the situation in a broader context, I think we should attract Japan into the five eyes, uh, which is, of course, an intelligence and security interest sharing uh, system that includes uh, the United States, uh, the United Kingdom, uh, of course, us, Australia and New Zealand. Japan is a precious ally of the democracies, of course, very close to the United States, but then again, so, so are we. So if we consider this from, from this particular angle, us having a very close relationship with the United States as well as Japan, this should bring about a closer uh, relationship in strategic terms as early or earlier rather than later. Do you think that uh, Japan ha is now, have they crossed a threshold in terms of their assessment of Chinese uh, threats or, uh, or aggression, if you will? Yes. And very they're much seeing so. things very clear, clear eyed now. Yes. Is that right? Yes, yes, you are absolutely correct in your in your assessment or uh, analysis. And again, I consider the you know the starting point, as it were, this uh, position paper that I mentioned publicized uh, uh, ten years ago, and it is of significance simply in the very recent context of two crises, which although on the uh, separate in this in separate geographical areas and talk about Ukraine, of course, and on the other hand, very close to Japan and to us, uh, Taiwan. These are two crises that should enhance our awareness of the need for the democracies writ large to reach ways of cooperating in a way that would contain and deter, repeat, contain and deter. Not only China, by the way, because we focus on China. There's some kind of a what, what I call a spectator's approach to the to the uh, Beijing Washington supposedly competition, and that is not accurate at all. Spectator, I can I, I'm referring, I'm using the term in a in a critical or negative way in the sense that we must cooperate. The democracies must cooperate among themselves as much as possible with the view of creating the kind of 
strategic and military balance that would not encourage those who do not like democracy, those who would like to wreck democracies, as China and Russia have been doing internally in our case, and in the case of the United States, as well as Germany and so on. And the earlier, the better. Because you see- We're gonna just take another break, sir. I hate to do this to you, but uh, we'll yes. be back. Uh, certainly, we've got lots of time to continue the conversation. Yeah. Please stay with us. Thank you, thank you.